As tensions rise and the world watches on edge, China issues a chilling final warning that sends shockwaves through global politics. What could this ominous threat mean for the future of our world? Want to know what that is? Stay tuned to the video till the end. China has many deserts, including the Gobi Desert, the Taklamakan Desert, and the Badain Jaran Desert, which cover vast regions of the country. However, what may come as a surprise to many is that China has undertaken a massive project to transform its deserts into fertile land. In fact, the Chinese government has launched a campaign to combat desertification and restore the country's degraded land. This ambitious project involves planting trees, developing irrigation systems, and implementing other measures to make the land productive. The success of this initiative could have significant implications for China's environment and the livelihoods of its people. How does China transform its deserts into fertile lands? According to a report produced by the United Nations, dry lands, which include large swaths of desert, account for 41.3% of the total geographical area of the Earth. What if substantial portions of this area were able to be transformed into fertile ground that could support the growth of crops? This is a subject that is especially pertinent in China because the country has a total land area of 3.5 million square miles, yet only 12% of that is arable land. Researchers from the Chongqing Jiao Tong University in China asserted in 2016 that they had created an innovative method that could transform arid areas into cultivable land. At first blush, the concept of turning deserts into farmlands appears to be advantageous for a number of reasons, including agriculture, the economy, reforestation, and the management of natural resources. The transformation of grassland and desert into arable land could, on the other hand, have significant effects on the climate, biodiversity, and overall ecological balance of the planet. How China Transforms Arid Terrain into Fertile Farmland the technology that was developed by the researchers at Chongqing Jiao Tong University involves a paste that is made from plant cellulose. This paste has the potential to significantly improve the capacity of desert sands to hold water, minerals, air, microbes, and nutrients that are necessary for the growth of plants. In the Mongolian autonomous region's Yulan Biu Desert, this paste was spread across a sandy tract that was 1.6 hectares in total. Over the course of several years, the land was improved to the point where it could now support the cultivation of corn, tomatoes, rice, and melons, in addition to sunflowers. It was mentioned by Professor Yang King Ko of Jiao Tong University that the expenses of artificial materials and technology for transforming sand into the soil is lower compared with controlled environmental agriculture and reclamation. In China, they have a program called Three North Shelter Forest. The work being done at Jiao Tong University is not the first attempt made in China to transform arid areas into the agriculturally productive territory. 1978 saw the beginning of a much more ambitious effort for China, which was dubbed the Three North Shelter Forest Program, but it also sometimes referred to as the Great Green Wall Program or the Three North Shelter Belt Program. This program intends to put an end to the spread of the enormous Gobi Desert and launch forestry initiatives in the northeastern, northern, and northwesterly regions of the country. To this point, the program has been successful in halting the spread of desertification. It has also contributed to the prevention of sandstorms and soil erosion, the conservation of water and soil, and the protection of agriculture in the region. It is anticipated that the Shelter Forest Program will be finished by 2050, at which point an estimated 35 million hectares of land would have been transformed into forests. The Chinese government asserts that its program is the most extensive afforestation effort in the world. According to a report that was published by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, over the course of the past four decades, more than 7.88 million hectares of windbreak trees have been planted. 336,200 square kilometers of desertification have been reversed, and more than 10 million hectares of grasslands have been protected or restored. All of these accomplishments were made possible by the planting of trees. Meanwhile, the percentage of land covered by grass and forests on the Loess Plateau has increased by close to 60%, while the amount of silt that accumulates in the Yellow River has decreased significantly. Images captured by satellites operated by NASA demonstrate that China's forest cover has expanded over the past two decades as a direct result of the numerous conservation initiatives 
carried out by the Chinese government. Having said that, certain aspects of the project have been criticized for being questionable. For instance, in the early stages of the project, some regions elected to practice monoculture, which resulted in a decrease in the variety of plant species and contributed to the propagation of plant diseases. According to an interview that took place in 2017 with National Geographic magazine conducted by Jennifer L. Turner, who serves as director of the China Environment Forum at the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, D.C., with the Great Green Wall, people are planting lots of trees in huge ceremonies in an effort to prevent the spread of desertification. However, later on, no one takes care of them and they perish. The journal also mentioned that excessive afforestation might cause the trees to eventually perish if humans do not continue to tend to them on a regular basis, since it causes the carrying capacity of the land to be exceeded. As a consequence of this, the World Bank advised China in 2008 that certain aspects of the project should place a greater emphasis on quality than quantity. Now you may wonder what if the world's desert suddenly became verdant and fertile. If all of the deserts on Earth were to suddenly turn fruitful, this would have a variety of effects, some of which would be beneficial to life on Earth and others of which would be harmful. The current state of the world's food supply is a major cause for concern. Almost 750 million people are currently facing high or extreme levels of food insecurity, according to a report published by the United Nations in 2019. If there were sufficient arable land, there is a chance that the agricultural industry could grow to the point that food insecurity would be eliminated. Deserts also play an important part in maintaining the temperature of the earth. If all of the deserts on our world were to vanish, it would almost certainly have a negative impact on the temperature of the globe. In addition to the large number of plant and animal species that might not be able to make it without deserts, there are already 2.1 billion people who have made drylands their home, and they have successfully adapted to the desert way of life. With the absence of drylands, these kinds of societies could find it difficult to continue existing and they would be forced to adjust to new ways of living. It has been known for a long time that forests contain a natural mechanism for the storage of carbon, which means that increasing the amount of forest cover could slow the rate of global warming. Yet despite the fact that trees remove carbon from the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis, they also release a diverse array of compounds, some of which contribute to the warming of the globe. Because they absorb more sunlight, trees with dark leaves may also contribute to temperature increases. The findings of a recent study imply that the warming effects of forests could partially or completely balance their ability to cool the environment. The replacement of deserts with forests may result in an increase in precipitation and, as a result, an increase in the amount of fresh water that is available. This would be a tremendous help to one-fifth of the world's population, which is currently dealing with a lack of access to clean water. On the other hand, this would also have an influence on the temperature of the entire globe, which is far-reaching and unknowable. The mission of greening deserts is a difficult one, yet the trials that have been carried out in China and other regions of the world to execute desert restoration on a massive scale have generated hopes for a future that is both healthy and useful. How China's economy is going to boost by converting its desert into forests The transformation of China's deserts into forests may offer multiple opportunities for economic growth for the country. One of the most significant advantages is that the freshly planted forests may improve the country's supply of lumber, which may in turn help to support the country's building and furniture sectors. In addition, an increase in forest cover may assist in the prevention of soil erosion and the enhancement of water quality, both of which would have a good impact on agricultural practices and fishing industries. This may lead to an increase in food production as well as exports, both of which may help to the expansion of China's economy. In addition, the establishment of new forests may also have a beneficial effect on China's tourism economy. This is because tourists may be attracted to the newly forested areas due to the area's scenic beauty and the variety of recreational options they offer. This might open up new revenue streams for local businesses as well as increase the number of employment opportunities available in the tourism industry. Overall, the transformation of China's deserts into forests has the potential to contribute to the country's economic growth and development in a number of different ways. These ways include the establishment of new industries, the expansion of current companies, and the rise of the tourism industry. More attempts across the world to transform deserts into forests. More green cover could result in better food security, more rainfall, higher yield, 
less soil erosion, and less land degradation. There are many researchers working on afforestation techniques and projects outside of China. In 2005, Norwegian scientist Christian Morten Olesen invented liquid nano clay, a particular sand treatment that can change the dry nature of sand particles by coating them with clay and allowing them to hold water. According to Olesen, with this process, any low-quality sand may be quickly transformed into high-yield soil. Desert Control, Olesen's company, collaborated with Dubai's International Center for Biosaline Agriculture in 2018 to perform laboratory and field studies to demonstrate LNC's potential in changing UAE's desert areas into lush green fruitful regions. Faisal al Shimari, an innovator from the UAE, experimented by farming two areas, one treated with LNC and the other not. He discovered that the LNC treated acreage needed just 81 cubic meters of water to produce crops, compared to 137 cubic meters for the untreated region. Desert Control, encouraged by its first success, aims to increase its nano clay production to further accelerate the process of desert reforestation in the UAE, while the UAE government sees LNC as a potential to strengthen food security in the country. Center Pivot Irrigation, an effective water distribution technology invented in the 1940s by American farmer Frank Zyback and credited with helping to rehabilitate land following the Dust Bowl, is now widely used in dry places such as Libya, India, and the UAE. The technique is intended to reduce water loss due to evaporation by combining sprinkler and drip irrigation methods that feed water from a pivot point within a circle. That's all for now. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, share this video with your family and your friends, and hit that red subscribe button and subscribe to stay updated on future videos. Click the bell notification button to receive notifications when we upload brand new content. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video.